and welcome back to Let's Play Fancy Star Online Dreamcast version. It's Gilbert. Um, last time we started a quest, and we're still on that quest. This is Kiri. He says hi. Um, and I just realized one of the things they added that I'm missing now is that for certain classes, certain characters got uh, regeneration, like the Fonu World got TP regeneration, and if you stood still, you'd slowly regenerate TP. Um, that didn't exist in the original version, and that's too bad. UCAS uh, got HP regeneration, and different characters got, like, the same thing, so, but, you know, whatever. Alright, well, anyway, back to, back to the slaughter. Um, I really, I mean, ultimately, I just have to make sure I hit the enemy before uh, Kiri does. Otherwise, that happens and I don't get any experience points. Um, because in this game, you share experience. So, all you have to do is hit an enemy and you'll get experience uh, for killing it. Um, it's uh, pretty cool and that's something they kept. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, the camera kind of... Who is it? Ah, sorry about that. The camera kind of went into this thing, and that's why we couldn't see. It's not actually a black screen there. Uh, so that's this guy. I don't know who you guys are, but be careful. They're still they're still hiding around here. They what could he be talking about. What could be going on here? What could he possibly be worried about? I can hear something. It growled. And you go up to... You grab this thing. Got the data disk. And then, oh god, you get attacked. That's the one. That's the only one I hit. It's the only one I'm gonna hit, apparently. Ooh, a telepipe. That is going to be useful for me for a little while. before Until I can get uh, the technique that actually lets me create telepipes on my own. I'm gonna need... <laughs> I'm gonna need... telepipes. They're important, because they allow you to go right back to town. Breathe. <laughs> Thank you. What? Zid? Now I know why you guys are here. He always treats me like a kid. I completed the quest, but suddenly they attacked me here. Monsters appeared and I dropped the disc. I couldn't do anything. How vexing! I appreciate that you guys came to save me, but I... I will take this boy with me. You deliver the disc to the client, then we can finish this job. Rear dream, train yourself. Become much stronger to impress me. Ha ha ha. Kirik is creepy, and you may have noticed a little bit of foreboding in that. And, uh... That's important for a special quest you can do um, that if I, if I do a video on it, I won't be... I, I'm not going to do things so I can do his side quest uh, uh, pro like properly. Um, so I'm going, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not going to do things so that he. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm stumped. I'm trying to figure out. I really have no idea what I'm trying to say here. I, I'm. I'm. Uh, for now, I'm not going to do things to do his quest. But if I may, but I, I might make a video on it uh, after all is said and done on uh, on on uh, his special extra quest. Man, God, dear God. I, you know, you saw when I made the character, I didn't, like, make her short, she was actually almost the max height, and look how freaking tiny she is. Ugh, man. I mean, she's just really, really small. I don't know. I don't know why. So here's Ash. <laughs> Thank you. I'll keep practicing. Kirik is... Kirik's nowhere. <laughs> Kirik already left after receiving the Meseta. Phew. I never, I've, I have never seen such an intimidating android. It was like that android was built for battle. 
This must be the disc that I asked Ash to find. Thanks. Ash is enduring the pain since he won't go see a doctor. You can get your reward at the Hunter's Guild. Thank you. And now that our quest is completed, we'll just go over Enrich your life. This is the Hunter's Guild. Welcome. You have been awarded 500 Meseta. Very good. You have completed the, just the job. This is the reward. Please come again. The Hunter's Guild helps you and helps to enrich your life. I'll, I'll say it does. <laughs> enrich. Ha! <laughs> get it? Enrich. Uh, it really doesn't, though. <laughs> um, I mean, part of the reason I'm doing the side quests is, for one, the Kirig side quests, which yeah, I, I think I will do a video on it after all is said and done. Um, but the Kirig side quest is uh, is really cool. Um, if you if you you have to do the side quests in a special way to do his thing, and we, we will. I, I think I will do that and show that. But I won't show all of it. I'll show the parts that count. Um, but I won't show doing all of it. So anyway, so we still don't have anything that needs to be teched. Uh, so we'll just go to this item NPC, and we will sell off that, that, that. We're keeping the die fluid. That, that, that. Oh, and our original thing can also be sold. Okay, so... Now, all right. So now we've got five mono fluids, six mono mates, one dive fluid, a telepipe, and a pretty good frame and a pretty good barrier. So that's that's probably fine for now. But oh, it's tempting. I, I it is tempting to to buy. So I haven't found them yet, and that's a little bit annoying that I didn't find them. Oh, I don't need that. Ah, right. Okay, so I just bought three anti-paralysis for a reason. Um, and that's because I'm going to need them to raise my mag. And I'm already seven minutes in. I mean, doing things in this game takes takes a while. So I'm going to save and put the dive fluid in there. And I'm going to deposit my cash. Now, it's important to deposit your cash in this version of the game, in the original version. Um, because in this game, when you die, you drop your weapon and all the money you have on you. Uh, and that can be a little bit bothersome uh, at times. When I first played through the game, I didn't really... I didn't know that. I thought I just lost it all, and I got really pissed. Um... Uh, and uh, and then I, I I didn't realize it until much much later. Uh, so we're gonna do magnitude of metal, which introduces another important character. Because um, I mean these side quests, in many ways they are the story uh, of the game. I mean the the side the story the side quests have stories that really. That really make this experience, and so if you if you play this game, I highly recommend you you do the side quests. Are you the force from the guild? I'm Garon, a traitor. I want you to go down to Ragal and retrieve my lost items. It's really important. A business opportunity of the li of the likes that no one has ever seen before. I'm sure I will become a zillionaire when I get it all back. That useless ranger said that android that an android took them. Find that android and get back my items, understood? If you need any more info, ask that stupid incompetent ranger. Oh yeah, this and this uh this introduces two uh fairly important characters. This stupid incompetent ranger is right here. Oh okay, maybe not. Garen's commodity? Oh, ah, they're just mags. Garen happened to find out that mags could be found on the ground. He asked me to collect some for him. I accepted it for the Meseta. I collected enough mags on Ragal to make everyone happy, but then I thought about the mags and the hunters who used them before. Mags are just protectors invented by a scientist. But we're given one when we become hunters. It's kind of a tradition. Or it's kind of tradition. Mags are essential piece of, an essential piece of equipment for hunters, right? When I was thinking of this, an android appeared and I was... It was right, though. Garen shouldn't use them to get Meseta. Yeah, mags are your partner. In some ways, they're kind of a living thing. Uh, even though they're mechanical beings. 
But uh, in any case, back down to Forest One. <laughs> To do, to do. Now, some quests aren't actually available until you clear an area, so I might not able not, I might not be able to do the rest of the forest quests until I finish it. Um, but I'm not. I don't recall exactly. So, but for now, uh, but you know, before I move on to like, there are four areas in the game. There's the forest. Caves, mines, and ruins. And before I move on to the caves from the forest, I'm going to do all the quests in the forest. Or that take place in the forest before I move on to the caves. Um, the caves are actually my least favorite area in the game. Uh, I will I will explain why uh, later. Maybe when I'm in the caves. I probably should talk about it now. For now, the forest is really... It's a beautiful area. It really is. I mean, it's not the high definition, super amazing graphics that we're used to these days with, uh, you know, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, or even the Wii. But, um, but it, it's really, it, it was really a, it's a very nicely designed uh, level, and uh, it's a shame that, in so many ways, just. Sonic Team kind of had a falling out after when the, when the Dreamcast came out. I mean, they made Sonic Adventure 2, which which was good, and they made this in Fantasy Star Online, which is which is good. I mean, look at that! You walk through the water and you hear the splashing, and you see the splashing, and it's like it has. This game has a really nice level of detail to it, uh, f especially for its time. And, and look here, th this is great. You got rays of light shining in. Um. Unfortunately, you know, when the, you know, the other consoles came out, when the GameCube came out, and the PlayStation 2, and the, uh, and the Xbox, the original Xbox, um, the Dreamcast, comparatively, even though it has the same amount of video memory, uh, 128 megabytes, uh, because it came out, what, like, one or two years before, I don't even remember, but it came out much earlier than the original uh, consoles, and or than the other three, and um, and so when when the other ones came out, it's just it it looked the graphics though good looked dated <laughs> just compared to them, and the game library on the Dreamcast just couldn't keep up, which is which is really a shame. Um, but on the bright side, it means that we can now play Sonic Colors on the Wii. Uh, yeah. So Sega's had some trouble since then. Um, but they're kind. I guess they're kind of coming back. I don't even. Maybe we'll see. Um, unfortunately, while this game had a really nice level of detail, when they released Fantasy Star Universe, they didn't really increase the level of detail. Uh, they just kind of left it where it was, and, uh, God, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, <sighs> it was just, it was disappointing to see that, but Fantasy Star Universe, I should say, is still fun in its own right, um, in any case, so, jeez, I've already used so much, uh, I cannot keep up. Jeez, I, you, just, you take a lot of damage. Uh, that evasion I have is going to be very important in uh, in coming levels because uh, how do I put this? Phone worlds they they go down easy. <laughs> uh, there's really no other way to put it. I mean, they're just they cannot take a hit too well. Um, when uh, I don't know if it'll be. In this, but like there are three difficulty levels, right? There's normal, hard, and very hard. Um, and on hard and very hard, phony worlds just don't last. And uh, oh jeez, I'm gonna have to run out of this room because I'm out of time, unfortunately. And sadly, in this game, you notice I haven't been pausing. 
there there is no pause. This game was designed to be played online, and so you can't you can't pause. Like I can still move around. Like this is the pause screen. So <laughs> I will see you next time on uh, Let's Play Fantasy Star Online Dreamcast version. Later, guys.